the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you believe Satan is paralyzed in your life, rise up and shout about it. Satan is paralyzed in your life. Paralyzed in your family. Paralyzed in your business. Paralyzed in your wife. Paralyzed in your husband. Paralyzed in the family. Satan is paralyzed. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty God, we thank you. We bless your name for reminding us that from the time Jesus died on the cross, Satan is paralyzed. Sicknesses are removed. Yokes are broken. Curses are taken away. Victories are ours in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray tonight. Everybody will make the right choice. A choice to be on the side of the Lord. And then Satan will have no power in any life. And then sickness will not remain in any one. And then defeat will not remain in our business. Every good thing will come to us in Jesus' name. Lord, confirm it tonight. That Satan is paralyzed in our lives. Thanks be because we know you have answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I praise the name of the Lord for every one of you that you are here tonight to witness the victory of Jesus and to witness the defeat of Satan in your life. It has come to you at a good time. And you will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Tonight, I want to tell you what the Lord is telling you. We are in Joshua chapter 24 and verse 15. It says, and it's, if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord. Choose you this day whom you will serve. I want to tell you at this important moment. The message of tonight is make your choice today. Make your choice today. Make your choice today. When, when you were born into this world, you had no choice. You couldn't choose your father. You couldn't choose your mother. You couldn't choose the family. You couldn't choose the place where you were born. You couldn't choose the country where you were born. All those things already are determined. And here you find yourself. You couldn't even choose the people that surround you. The circumstances around you, you had no power to choose. But then, as you have come into this life, and you understand the right from the left, you understand there is good, there is evil. You understand there is blessing, there is a curse. You understand there is heaven, there is hell. You understand there is happiness, there is sadness. And then you are asking yourself, to be born in the world, I didn't have a choice. Family, I didn't have a choice. Town, I didn't have a choice. And many other things, you didn't have any choice. Do I have a choice whether I am happy or sad? Do I have a choice whether I am well or I am sick? Do I have a choice whether I am victorious or defeated? Do I have a choice of a better life? The Bible says, yes, you have a choice. That although the things that are past, you didn't have a choice. From this very day, you have a choice. And for your future, you have a choice. For where you will spend eternity, you have a choice. That's why Joshua told the people, as the Lord is telling you through Joshua, 
things of Allah tell you Jesus. Telling you to make your choice. There's three points we're going to look at. Number one is our right of choice. The Lord has given us that right. The Lord has given us that key. And we can determine what kind of life we're going to live. We can determine on which side we're going to be. On the side of the Lord. On the side of the devil. We can decide whether we're going to be blessed or we're going to remain in our problem. We can decide whether we can get healed tonight or we're going to remain under the yoke, under the bondage, under sickness. Our right of choice. That's what Joshua was saying. It says, if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord. Serving the Lord means happiness. Serving the Lord means joy. Serving the Lord means blessing. Serving the Lord means provision. Serving the Lord means he'll provide for all your needs. Serving the Lord means he'll give you a good wife. Serving the Lord he'll give you a good husband. Serving the Lord he'll give children to your family. Serving the Lord will provide for your needs. Because then you become his property. Because then every need in your life he begins to supply. Already you know when in Joshua the children of Israel were coming from the wilderness and the Lord said if you will serve me I am going to provide for you. If you will serve me I will conquer all your enemies. They had already seen the fulfillment of that. Jericho conquered confederacies of kings conquered many enemies conquered and now at the end of the chapter he said you are no more ignorant you know the goodness of the Lord you know the fulfillment of his promise you know God will never fail now you have not seen enough there is a future ahead of you many blessings ahead of you and you have a right of choice then it said oh, so we if pray. all the evidence you have so will not convince you, you to serve the Lord so if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord choose you this day whom ye will serve whether because of the gods of the which are your father's sad that were on the other side of the floor the word of God is talking to you and talking to me our forefathers had idols that they worship. Our forefathers, they had the images that they serve. You make your choice tonight. I've told you what the Lord can do. The Lord can turn your darkness to light. He can turn your night to day. He can turn poverty to prosperity. He can conquer your enemies. He can heal all your sicknesses. He can break every you. He can destroy every curse. He can bring a blessing into your life. But then Joshua is saying if with all the Lord has promised to do and with all the Lord the Lord wants to do if you still can teach an evil thing to serve the Lord choose you this day make your choice today whom you will serve if you want to worship idols if you want to serve images if you want to serve the idols of the land that are not able to deliver their people or because of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell if it is a modern idol traditional idol village idol occultism and superstition evil and all the things that the magicians are doing if that's what you want to choose make your choice today and then he said as for me as for me and my house we will serve the Lord how many of you are making the choice to serve the Lord today you want to come to the side of the Lord where are you can you raise up your hand you say I will serve the Lord like Joshua I will serve the Lord like those people of olden days I will serve the Lord like the Israelites I will serve the Lord like the, Lord. Like the, Lord. Like the people that were blessed I will serve the Lord that's what Joshua said he said I don't know what others are 
are going to oh, do. I'm not waiting for the decisions oh, of other oh, people. Oh, he said, as for me, oh, as, for me, oh, as, for me oh, as for me, as for me, as for me, and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I'm going to give you a chance oh, at the oh, end of the message oh, tonight oh, to put real reality into your decision. If you are saying, as for me, I will serve the Lord. Oh, my house, I will serve the Lord. Oh, my house, serve the Lord. Oh, myself and my wife myself and my husband myself and my children myself and the family we will serve the Lord you have the right to choose you have the right to choose actually God tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 30 Deuteronomy chapter 30 in verses 19 and 20 Deuteronomy chapter 30 verses 19 and 20 I call heaven and ask to record this day against you that I have said before you live and dead blessing and cursing therefore choose life therefore choose life yes you're right the right of choice. On the one hand, there is life. On the one hand, there is satisfactory life. Abundant life. Eternal life. Spiritual life. At on one hand, there is a better kind of life. Life in Christ. Life under His protection. Life under His power. Life with divine provision. On the one hand, there is life that satisfies. On the other hand, there is life on the other hand there is a Satan that oppresses on the other hand there is destruction on the other hand there is a you on the other hand there is a curse he says on the one hand life on the other hand death the right to choose that's why he says therefore choose life that those thou and thy seed may live that thou mayest love the Lord thy God that thou mayest obey his voice and that thou mayest cleave unto him for he is thy life once he comes to you it's like the life of Christ an injection of heaven is injected into you. It's like the goodness of heaven is put into an heaven injection is injected into your life. And that when, when that life of heaven is injected into you tonight, all poisons in your system, all curses in your system, all poverty in your system, all evil things in your system, the injection of heaven or the life of heaven coming into you will paralyze, will demolish, will destroy everything. And then it, good things will flush into your life. And from today, you will never be the same again. And when you make a choice tonight, the devil cannot take the good thing away from you. Evil people cannot take the good thing from you. You are the right tonight to choose. If you will choose a good thing, from today, things will become better for you. I said things will become better for you. Point number two, repent Repentance, a good choice. Repentance, a good choice. We come back to Joshua chapter 24. And it was 16. And the people answered and said, God forbid that we shall forsake the Lord and serve other gods. The people made their choice just like you are going to make your choice tonight. And the choice you make tonight will determine how happy you are. The choice you make tonight will determine whether you are going to get healed. The choice you make tonight will determine the goodness of God in your life. The choice you make tonight will determine how prosperous your family will be. The choice you make tonight will determine where you are going to spend eternity. They made their choice. They said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve all the 
God. And in verse 19, Joshua said unto the people, Joshua said, Ah, ye cannot serve the Lord. Isn't that discouraging? No, no, he was telling them this. So he said, said, If you are going to serve the Lord, it is more than raising up your hands. If you are going to serve the Lord, the Lord. It's more than word of mouth. If you are going to serve the Lord, it's more than going to church. If you are going to serve the Lord, it's more than God's coming to the crusade field. That's why Joshua told them, he said, no, you cannot serve the Lord. For he is the holy God. You know what he means there? He said, God is superior eyes than to be superior eyes than to be whole sin or iniquity. He said, for he is the holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your trespass nor your sin. You know what he means by that? If you don't confess, if you don't forsake, if you don't run away from it, if you don't flee iniquity and trespass, forgiveness does not come automatically. That's what Joshua is saying. Ah, just because I go to church, and then I rise up, I repeat after the Please, I have done what I shouldn't have done. I have not done what I should have done. That doesn't, that doesn't automatically give you forgiveness. Just because I say, we have seen. Because all I've seen and come short of the glory of God. We are not worthy to be called by your name. That doesn't automatically give you forgiveness. That's what Joshua was saying. He said, if you just confess, and you see it on the scene, and you remain in the scene, and you are swimming in the sea, so and, and you are swallowing the sea, so and you are rejoicing in the sea, so and you are delighting in the sea, they say, God will not forgive you. Because it takes repentance. It means you are going to tell the Lord. You know you have seen. Look at verse 21. And the people said unto Joshua, hey, but we will serve the Lord. He said, yes, Joshua, we know we are counting the cost. He said, yes, Joshua, we know what you mean. He he said, said, yes, Joshua, we know what? it will take confession and forsaking of our sin. And he said, that's exactly what we're going to what? do. And in verse 23, he, he says, says, now therefore, he he said, I agree with you. You are you. making a right choice. I agree with you. You have said it with your mouth that, that you will serve the Lord. All right, if you are going to serve the Lord, in verse 23, now now therefore, put away. Put away. Put away. What did you say they should put away? He said they should put away the strange God, which are among you, and incline your heart unto the Lord God of Israel. That's the way to the blessing of God. If there is any cause on your life today, the way you will get the blessing of God is that you will repent of your sin. And it doesn't matter. Any prophet might have told you that you are going to die. I cancel that death in Jesus' name. It doesn't matter. Anybody that has seen a vision and your relative came back home he said, my uncle, my cousin, my sister, I went to our church. In our church when the prophet was praying for me, he told me you have an uncle. He told me you have a cousin. Go and tell him that the prophecy said he's going to die. It doesn't matter what prophecy they have made. If you will repent tonight, that curse will be cancelled in your life in Jesus' name. Look at something here in Jonah chapter 3. In Jonah chapter 3. I read verse 4. And Jonah began and began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Yet forty days. Neither shall be overthrown. That's prophecy from a prophet. Yet forty days neither shall be overthrown. In verse six, for the word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose 
from the throne. And he laid his robe from him. And he covered him with sackcloth. And, and he sat in ashes. Look at verse 8. But let man and beast so be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Yea, let, every, let them turn everyone from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. He knew how to change negative prophecy to positive prophecy. How the oaks can be broken. How the evil sin the devil wanted to do in your life can be totally removed. How the evil judgment of God that is hanging upon your head can be taken away. Yes, king of Nineveh. He knew how the negative prophecy from the prophet can be wiped out and eradicated from their lives. Let every man be covered with sackcloth. Let them feel sorry for their sin. Let them cry mightily unto the Lord. He said, yes, what I'm telling everyone, let them turn everyone from his evil way and from the violence that is in their hands. That's how to do it, my brother, my sister. My friend, you are there tonight. That's how to have the blessing of God in your life. And God saw their works. That they turned from their evil way. God will see you tonight. When you give your life to Christ. God will see you tonight. When you surrender yourself to the Lord. God will see you tonight. When you turn away from your sin. From your trespasses. From your drunkenness. From your adultery. From your fornication. From your evil. From your idol worship. From your occultism. From the violence in your heart. From the strife and division. God will see your heart tonight. If you cry right now. The Lord is seeing you. As you say yes. I want the Lord. Yes. I want the Lord. The choice tonight. All those bad things. I will not do them again. God sees your heart already. They will forgive you. I said they will forgive you. He will change your life. He will do good in your life. Come back to Joshua now. Number one, I told you, our right of choice. Number two is repentance, a good choice. Number three now is righteousness and redemption through Christ. Righteousness and redemption through Christ. Joshua chapter 24 verse 24. You will not forget this. Joshua chapter 24 verse 24. And the people said unto Joshua. The Lord our God we will serve. His voice we will obey. Righteousness coming through Christ. Actually Joshua is the Old Testament form of the name Jesus in the New Testament. They told Joshua, they said, we will serve the Lord as we are going to tell Jesus, we will serve the Lord. And when you make up your mind, you will come to Jesus. You will touch him and he will touch you. You will come to Jesus. You believe in him and he will change your life. You come to Jesus and say, yes, I believe. He is my Savior. Then he will save you. I believe he is my deliverer. Then he will deliver you. I believe he is my healer. Then he will heal you. Look at a woman in the New Testament. She made a choice. A choice to come to Jesus. She made a choice. A choice to cast her body in some Christ. She made a choice. A choice to live. She made a choice. A choice to be well and not to be seen. Mark chapter 5. What's your choice tonight? If you are making the choice, you say, I want blessing. If you are making the choice, you say, I want healing. If you are making the choice, you say, I want deliverance. If you are making the choice, I want children in my family. You say, you are making the choice. I want the Lord to provide for me. Everything you tell
tell the Lord tonight, according to the promise of God, He will do for you. He will fill your mouth with laughter. He will fill your family with blessing. If you are sick right there now, as we pray tonight, you are going to get where. If you are blind, you will open your eyes and see. If you are lame, you will rise up and walk. If there is any deformity, the Lord will touch your life. You will you will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Oh, back on now, Lord, call Jesus. Mark chapter 5 verse 25. Mark, Mark chapter 5 verse 25. Mark, and a certain, a certain woman God. which had an issue of blood 12 years. Oh, be a serious la. problem for a long time. Wa la, Lord, yo, bo, roto, buru. He said, and had suffered many things of many physicians. Oh, ni, eh, ni, ti, oju, re, si, ti, ri, on, kuk, on, and had spent all sebo. that she had. Ti, oh, si, ti, no, on, go, go, ti, oh, and was nothing better. Ti, ko, si, son, la, but rather I grew worse. This woman for 12 years, she was sick. And she was going from batch to war. She went to the hospital of the land. She went to the herbalists of the land. She went to all the healers of the land. Instead of becoming better, she was becoming worse. And then in verse 27, when she heard of Jesus, that's a great name. It's the name that gives us life. The name that gives us salvation. The name that gives us healing. The name that gives us deliverance. The name that breaks the power and the yoke of the devil from our lives. It's a great name. When you come to that name, when you believe in that name, you will never be the same again. Everybody mention that name, shout out that name. Shout it and let me hear you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're making a choice tonight. You will follow the Lord. When she heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind. And she touched his garment. For she said, If I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. She made the choice. She said, Satan, you will not hinder me. You will not make me to die. Satan, my sickness has been going from battle wars. But today, I'm going to get healed. I have heard of Jesus. I have seen Jesus. I believe in Jesus. If I may but touch the clo his clothes, I shall be made whole. Verse 29. And straight way. That means instantaneously. That means immediately. The fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was a healed of a, of that place. Tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. Your miracle has come. Your healing has come. Your deliverance has come. Your salvation has come. Yours is a choice tonight. If you are choosing to come to the Lord, if you are choosing to believe in the Lord, if you are choosing to believe in the Lord, if you are choosing salvation in Christ, it is there tonight. Even Satan cannot take it away from you. Rise up and make your choice. 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 I choose life. I choose life. I choose eternal life. I choose abundant life. I choose a happy life. I choose a joyful life. I choose the life of Christ. I choose a supernatural life. I choose eternal life. Come to Christ tonight. Come to Christ tonight. Satan cannot take that choice away from you. Your brother, your friend cannot take the choice away from you. Your enemy cannot take the choice away from you. You. Demons cannot take the choice away from you. If you choose Christ tonight, if you choose Christ tonight, if you choose Christ tonight, you are entitled to life. You are entitled to eternal life. You are entitled to supernatural life. It is yours tonight. It is yours tonight. It is yours tonight. I choose life. And Satan will not take it from you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. You know how to choose a life already. Oh my God, I presented Jesus Christ to you. Jesus is waiting for your choice tonight. Are you going to remain with Satan? Are you going to remain in your sin? Are you going to remain in idol worship? Are you going to remain under your yoke? Are you going to remain in the, in the occultism? Jesus. 
Jesus is waiting. Jesus, Jesus is standing there Jesus right now. Like there, right and he's saying, if you want him, if you want him, if you want to serve the Lord, and you want him to change your life, and you to turn everything around, and you're saying, yes, I want the goodness of God in my life. If you want Jesus to be your Savior, if you want all your sins to be forgiven, if you want him to wipe away all the evil that you have done since you were born, wherever you are now, just signify by raising up your hand. Just raise up your hand. You want Christ? Just raise up your hand. You want life? Just raise up your hand. You want forgiveness? Just raise up your hand. You want the yoke to be broken? Just raise up your hand. You want to have eternal life? Just raise up your hand. You want Jesus to be your Lord, your Redeemer, your Savior? Just raise up your hand. Keep up that hand. Keep up that hand. As you raise up your hand, simply tell the Lord, Jesus, I come to you. Say it out. Jesus, I come to you. I come out of my sin. Every evil sin that I've done, I am sorry. I will not do them again. I turn away from my sin. Jesus, yes, you died for me. You died on the cross for me. You shed your blood for me. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Forgive me. Daddy, me. Save me. Bamela. Change my life. Yeah, yeah, me, I take you, Jesus, as my Savior. Yes, mo, I open up the door mo, si le, ko, si of le. my heart. Le, ko, come into my heart. Was, no, come come in to stay. Wa, ko, ma, bebe. Thank you, Lord. Yes, o, se, Thank you, Lord. O, lu, wa, o, se, Thank you, Lord. O, lu, wa, o, se, I am saved. Mo, deni, I am forgiven. A, dari, jimi, because you have said, ni, tori, pe, whosoever pe, comes to me, eh, ni, ken, to, ba, I to, will in no wise cast away. Eh, ni, ko, ni, ta, no, I received you, Christ. Mo, ti, ba, Christi, and I know you have received me. What's in my court? In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Keep up that hand. I'm going to pray with you. Now, why are you not bad? Keep up that hand. I'm going to pray with you. Now, why are you not bad? You are coming to Christ. You are repented. You are taking him as your savior. Keep up that hand. Now, why are you so bad? Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all my new brothers and sisters. Thank you for the sinners who have repented. For the backsliders who have returned home. For the young sons and daughters who have come back to the Father. They have come to you, Lord. I pray you forgive them in Jesus' name. All the sins they have committed. The ones they remember, the ones they don't remember. I call it your mercy, grace, and love. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Count them as your children. Children now, they have chosen life. Take condemnation away from them. They have chosen life. Take eternal death away from them. They have chosen life. Take the punishment for sin away from them. In Jesus' name, receive them, save them, forgive them, change their life. Let your new life come into every one of them. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. If plant the heavenly father has not planted in your life, tonight we're going to root it up. If there is praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your time of miracle has come. I want you to say that my time of miracle has come. So we pray. I want say that my time of miracle Amen. Amen. You will raise up your hand if you need a miracle. You need healing. You need deliverance. You need a particular miracle in your life. Just raise up your hand. That place where you have the sickness or the infirmity. You will lay your hand in that place. While you raise up the other hand. If you are blind, get ready. The Lord will touch your blind eyes and you will see. If you are there, get ready, the mighty power of God will get into your joints, in your bone, into your spinal cord. 
you'll rise up and walk after the prayer. To ba de je ko yaro ni agbara Olorun yo fo wo kan isan ese egogun ese ati egun opa yin re wa dide duro wa mo. If I'm here any problem wherever it may be, just get ready as we mention the name of Jesus. There's power in that name. Aro karun to ba wa ninu aye re iwo se agbara di sile ta ba ti daru ko Jesu agbara nbe ninu oruko na. After the prayer. Lenya adura yen. You will check up yourself. Wa wa yara re wo. See what the Lord has done. Ko wa won to luwa ti Already you have made the choice. O ti yan ti kankan ni Jesus is your deliverer and your healer. Jesus ni oluda ndere ati oluwo san re. Keep up your hand and close your eyes as we pray. And now wo yin so ke ke wa diju bi a se ko. Father in the name of Jesus. Baba ni oruko Jesu. We thank you tonight because you have told us to make the choice. We are chosen Christ. We are chosen life. We are chosen his power. We are chosen his miracle. We come to the side of the Lord. Manifest yourself on everyone right here now in Jesus name. Lord, you have given us Christ as a deliverer, as a healer, as a great physician. And as the Lord, Lord, Lord he, you will touch everyone right now, their infirmity, their curse, their yoke, their sicknesses. Take it away in Jesus' name. Oluwa, mongba dura kwe ni ba yi, e fo waka anwe ni anyi, bo gwe gong, bo gwa esan, bo gwa re pata leo, kokuro ni oruka jesu. Now I command every swelling, whether in the neck, at the back, in the tummy, or it's in the private part, whatever the name of that swelling, I command that swelling, Come out in Jesus' name. Ni ba yi, mong pa se fun go gong to ba wu, ba ya ni oron, ba ya ni enyi, ba ya ni nu, ba ya ni abeni, go gong kong to ba wu kyo wani be, e jade lor uko jesu. And any kind of internal disease. Go gwa ron to ba wani nu lor. That tuberculosis I command you. I ko fe mo pa se fun. Come out in Jesus' name. Jade lor uko jesu. That turn here. Come out in Jesus' name. I pa ke nye, jade lor uko jesu. High blood pressure or diabetes, whatever it is. Come out in Jesus' name. The problem in the respiration, asthma, I command you, you have no right to remain there. Come out in Jesus' name. I command you, you have no right to remain there. Come out in Jesus' name. I command that the cancer in your body, the ulcer in your body, the cancer 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 in your body, Touch you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. I run jadi jadi ta be only serious as a to one in one God a mok badura pe kio wo Lord uko ke ko ba mo na da Lord uko Jesus. Any sickness in the blood system? I saka sa ni nwe ye. Ni nwe ara. On the bone. Ta bi ni nwe ye. On the skin. Ta bi ni nwe ara. You have the right to be there. Oh let all that be there. Christ has come to get rid of you. Jesus ti wala ti mo akuro. I command all those sicknesses be healed in Jesus' name. Ni mok pa se fu bo gwa sa wanye ek ba wo sa Lord uko Jesus. And in all the People that have demonic oppression. That spirit of insanity and madness. I command that demon, that evil spirit. You have no right to be there when I mention the name of Jesus. Come out in Jesus' name. Mo pase mo si fi ase fu e ni bogo e ni e mi e supe e let ola ti wa me e mo pase e ja de loru kaje. All those evil personalities visiting the family, visiting that woman or that man, or moving about in the body or the object, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. Go go at bara oku, awe ni e oku. Ti wan lo be ni e wo. Tabi ti wan ri ka kiri ni no agwara. Mo pase fu e ja de loru kaje. Every yoke, every curse in your life. By the authority the Lord has given me, I cancel that sin. I break that yoke. Be free. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Go go a jaga. Go go a day. To wa ni no a ye re. Ni pa e fami ororo ya ti a seti olu a vipu mi. Mo pa se kwe ki o domini na loru ko jesu. For families who are barren. Fu a wwe bito ya jaga. We are asking for children. Fu a mbe re fu a ma. I'm asking oh Lord you give them children. Mo mbe re lu a fu a ni o ma. Grant them their miracle babies in Jesus' name. E fi o ma ya no jin ki wa loru ko jesu. For those who are blind, I pray that the mighty hand of God, the healing hand of God, the creative hand of God, will touch those blind eyes now. Those blind eyes, I command you, begin to see in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, I pray the Lord will touch your eardrums, will touch your vocal 
that miracle of hearing, that miracle of speaking distinctly and clearly will happen right now in Jesus' name. That's your lane paralyzed, having a stroke, or one leg shorter than the other, or they don't have the ability to rise up on their own and walk. Oh Lord, I pray that your healing virtue will pass through their bodies right now. The weakness in their joints and their bones, that weakness Get out in Jesus' name. Strengthen their joints. Strengthen their, their spinal cord. Strengthen their whole body. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Lord, I bring everyone before you. Anywhere there is sickness. Anywhere there is infirmity. Anywhere there is oppression. Anywhere there is satan. Anywhere there is affliction. I pray the hand of the Lord will touch you right now. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Let your miracle come upon you right now. Break every yoke, dear Lord. Set all your people free. Thank you, Lord, because I know you are answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.